left in this uh, championship agility this is for the large dogs they're not particularly large but they're bigger than those that we've seen before and the first one on the starting line is Nigel Staines with Zico an Australian working Celtic they are fast and that can be their downfall often a dream dog says uh, Nigel champion uh, at Olympia and at Crufts two national championships as well an advanced agility dog Nigel controlling it very, very well. They take part in a number of competitions at Crafts, qualified for all these different uh, agility competitions. And I don't think this course is quite as difficult as some of the competitors have made it so far. But my word, this is good and fast. The time limit's tighter for the big guns, the well winnings. It's 40 seconds, but that was 33.85, which is perfectly good. Now we come to Tony Dawkins and Kite. Kite is a border collie. Eight years old, agility champion, spellcast made in heaven. This little dog is so good. She has a number, and she's got a medium-sized uh, shelter that looks just like uh, border collie. It looks just like this. Hard to pick between them, but this is neat. Now you see the positioning of. Tony as they go round the course and her shoulders turn she really draws the dog onto the obstacles tries to give it the least possible chance of making a mistake in from the right point that's good on the wheel it's clean or oh, it's quick as well 30 oh, the clock didn't stop now then. so I would have made that about 32.9 I think they've possibly gone into the lead but we'll have to wait for an official time 32.9 they've said that'll do that'll do for me 32.9 Dave Mullings now comes out with Dobby they've got a time to beat Tony Dawkins and Kite their time was 32.89 that's what they've got to beat and to go clear and the course which I, I've said I didn't think was as difficult as, as they appear to be making it really has caused some problems very challenging and it's about the body position that the handler gets into they've got to be in the right place to control the dog and get it through the various obstacles properly take your eye off the dog for a second and you're lost but this is good and it's fast 32.89 is the time to beat 32.89 there's the weave to go through the weave isn't that fast this thing but this is very very close 32.89 have we done it yes they have 32.13 the last dog to go is going to take the championship there for the large dogs Dave Munnings there winning that and Tony Dawkins in second place